Hi, this is Jeff with Photoblossom. In this video I just want to go over how to um, create the canvas mockups. Um, there is a there is a trick to creating the ones that are that have small side pieces that are visible. Um, these ones that are flat are really easy. It's just a simple object or a smart object I mean. I'll paste one in here right now so you can see. I'll just open up a few pictures that uh, Ali took of me yesterday and I'll go back to the main file. I'm just going to double click on the layer your image here. Click on the double or the little document icon down in the corner and it'll open up your smart object and all you do is copy and paste. I'll resize it. Oh. Whoa. Well that's not good. Something's happening with my uh, the screen recorder right now. Well, let's just delete that. <laughs> um, hold on. So that didn't work. Let me try it again. There we go. Something's happening with the JavaScript that was making my mouse go all crazy. But you just uh, paste that in there like that and hit save. You can delete this layer if you want. You don't have to. Just hit save and then go back to your... And there you have your canvas. You can see slight shadows. But these are the really the most uh, simple ones. These ones that have an edge on them are a little bit different because you see you have two different uh, layers here. Uh, one with just the side and then the front. So this is how I've... This is how I do it when I'm dealing with that. With uh, these ones that have the angles. So what I'm going to do is just basically get a shot that I think will fit in this canvas size and then I'm going to put up put down like a um, put down a, a a marker so that I can see where to cut or clip the not a marker a uh, grid or a guide so I'm taking the same picture and I just want to I'm just gonna put this like that so that I know where the edges start and stop and then I would grab my uh, marquee tool or the marquee selection tool and then I would select this side and I'll go back and I'll paste that into the front making sure that this left side lines up perfectly with this left side like so so this is going to be a little bit bigger than the other one let me do it so it fits. And I'm in Photoshop and just holding down shift to constrain the proportions. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go back and you can see that this left side needs to be done as well. So I'm going to go back to that file that I was copying out of... Oh, was it this one? No, it's this one. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the marquee tool again, and I'm just going to select this smaller side, copy, and paste it in, and make sure that the right hand side lines up. Oh, my mouse is doing something weird again. This this will be rough, but you'll get the idea of how to make these. Yikes! Make these line up. See how my see how my mouse is doing that? Something with the JavaScript, I think, for this recorder. But it might be, it might take you a couple tries. It might be okay, like that. See that was way off. See how the shirt should fit up here. So you might have to go in a few times and uh, adjust it. Um, when you make that selection, sometimes you can just do it without making a guide, just do it, select it like that, like randomly, not randomly, but without a guide. Let's see how that looks still a little bit off. Um, 
it might be better to do like a cross line too so that you're you can get a vertical uh or a horizontal reference point right now I'm kind of used going by my my back here so I'm just going to move it up a little bit and see So you can play with it until you get it right. Um, you might have to do a few saves. But yeah, like I said, the the flatter ones are really easy, and the ones that are that have an angle are a little bit more difficult because they're they're separated like that. But uh, I just wanted to show you that so that you get an idea of how these are put together. Um, you'll probably have to tweak these ones that are, have the angles on it or whatever, but that's that's totally fine. Um, you would probably end up tweaking it anyway. Um, but yeah, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Email support at photoblossom.com or, or hello at photoblossom.com to reach me directly. All right, thank you. Bye.